it's easy being Spencer Rattler? Do I think it's easy being Spencer? I mean, that's a better question for Spencer Rattler than it is me. Uh, I think a lot of people would love to have the opportunity he has, and I think that it's a heavy burden to wear the crown of being a quarterback in the SEC. And uh, obviously, there's a lot of pressure that uh, comes with that position, and it's a huge challenge, and you have to be extremely talented uh, to do it. So I would say he's very fortunate and blessed to be in the role he's in, but it's also a very well deserved, and this program's really lucky to have him. What would you say would be a successful ball camp for Spencer? Well, I would say let's let's worry about one day and right now let's just have uh, let's have a great day of uh, meetings. Let's do things the right way. Let's be on time. Let's show the young guys how to how to lead and how to model that behavior. And um, let's make sure when we go on the field tomorrow that we know our job's cold. And uh, you know, obviously, this team greatly depends on him to have success. And but he needs to do his job and execute. And it starts one day at a time. So that, that would be, it's not about a whole camp. It's about this day and this moment being where your feet are. You've been in high pressure situations in the NFL. Do you, as a coach, you have to love that kind of scenario where you're under the gun and people are looking at you and saying, hey, why isn't he doing his job or why is he doing his job well? Yeah, I think that's why you want to coach in South Carolina. I think it's why you want to coach in the National Football League. Uh, there's only you know 14 of these SEC jobs and we're all very fortunate to have these opportunities. And we've had some good jobs in the past. I think there's four coordinator jobs in the National Football League, but um, you know, I'm excited about the opportunity that, that uh, Coach Beamer and the staff gave me, and I also take that responsibility very serious because we got got to do a great job putting these kids in a situation to be successful and developing our core identity through this training camp. And it's it, we have so much work to do, and I'm so excited about the opportunity to get started now. We just had a great meeting uh, with the players, and I can't wait for the next meeting. DK has been a guy that's been used at a variety of positions yeah. for the Gamecocks. Do you anticipate that being the case? Could that continue to be the case, or do you think he'll just play a running back? Well, I, I think that he's a running back that has a skill set to be able to do a lot of different things, and he's shown that his whole career. He's, a mo he's one of the most unselfish players that I've ever had the opportunity to coach. When he changed positions, he didn't say anything other than, hey, if this helps the team, I'm in. Um, so he's been completely unselfish. The, he's smart. It didn't take him. Uh, you're talking about changing positions. Like we're talking about, this guy's about to be a starting SEC running back who's never done it. Right? And we have, this team has confidence in him. Uh, the coaches have confidence, but more importantly, the locker room has confidence in him. Uh, I'm excited to see what he does with this role, and we're going to use his skill set. Uh, and he has a very, you know, broad skill set uh, skill set where he can do a lot of different things. And as far as Spencer. You've been around a lot of NFL quarterbacks. What quality does Spencer possess right now that will make him a good NFL quarterback? His talent. He's an elite thrower of the football. I mean, he can make every throw there is. Not God didn't put many people on earth that can do what he can do with the football in his hands. Uh, so that's where that's where it starts. And it's also he's a hard worker. He's a good kid. And he's learning how to work. And uh, you know, you gain so much knowledge through experience. And getting to do this another year, and getting to be a starting quarterback another year, and just the stack reps on your resume. Uh, it's an awesome opportunity for him. We're, we're really grateful that he made the decision to come back and uh, be part of this team and um, help us. You know, he's got unfinished business with the, the season he had, and he finished the way he wanted to fi uh, finish, and he's doing a great job leading. Well, we need to, I'll tell you, I'll know a lot more after this camp's over, and uh, we'll know a lot more after tomorrow. We've never seen him practice in pads. Um, I, we know this. He's a 6'5", 243-pound athlete that's one of the fastest people in the country at his age. And uh, on top of that, he's a humble kid. He's a hard worker. Um, he competes the way we want him to compete. And it's going to be a grind for him. This will be the first time in college football. And, you know, you get these questions, is he a track athlete or is he a football player? And we're about to find out when you put pads on and do those things. We have very high expectations for him.